Welcome back everybody into another backtesting session. I just want to give you an heads up of the study that I keep doing on a daily basis. And as you can see, I've been reviewing the same setup. Now I started uh, back from uh, also 2022, 2023. This is going to be a sort of ongoing review that I'm going to do uh, to keep my, my muscle memory sharp. So as you can see that now, we already did this one um, these days of 2023 in the first backtesting review sessions, but it's always very important. And I remember that my setup over there was quite different than it is now. And so I wanted to do a quick, again, uh, another um, backtesting session with the usual method. The usual method is with the blackboard and sliding by. Uh, now that I have a setup, now I wasn't even looking at the news. In this case, it was simply on um, on the basis of price action, and we can see. Uh, of course, uh, what I was looking at the first uh, during the first run of these days, I, I had the key levels, I had the PSAs, and I had the news. So it was not really defined yet as it is right now the setup. So. Uh, I wanted to really rerun it. As you can see now, I already took like 73 trades during the first month. And we can see that we have a win rate of 50%, 55% actually. So we're running pretty hot. And uh, yeah, this, of course, this one is the same title as the previous one. Basically, uh, always risking 1% and a 2.5% uh, win. That means that uh, that's due to the fact that with commission is probably like a 2.7%, but since I wanted to round it up, uh, I just wanted to, to place it like this, 2.5. And you can see that with a 55% win rate, we are almost doubling our account uh, in the first 30 days. That's pretty awesome win rate. And we can see how the growth is going. Of course, this one is over uh, the span of a year. Uh, if you remember this old review, I just w uh, checked and uh, up until the 73rd uh, trade, we were a little bit behind that we are right now. We are, we are like a 1500 compared to right now that we are at 1900. So uh, definitely the win rate is uh, better. And um, yeah, we can clearly see it. We have more wins than losses. And I just wanted to give you this heads up. And of course, now do a little bit of a uh, a few reviews uh, with you, a few days, like uh, a week or so. And um, hopefully you enjoy, hopefully you uh, can learn something with me uh, about this. So let's continue and we can see now the New York session is starting at 3 p.m. As you can see right now, right below. So this is the start of New York session. We have these lows, these eyes. Of course, remember that we take after 8.20 because we don't want to get stopped out by, we don't want to really uh, be faked out more than necessary. So for example, here, now price is breaking above, that's a possible trade idea that we can have, even though the volume, the breakout volume is not that strong. Yeah, as you can see, um, this is still not a loss because we entered below the PPL. This is uh, like a 10 pips. Uh, probably draw down and let's see if we can manage to go into a TP. We go like 30 pips. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have enough volume. Yeah, okay, so uh, we're still in this trade, but yeah, the volume is not looking pretty. So let's say that we get stopped out here. I will be looking now for trades below these lows and we retest above these eyes. So for example, yeah, we get stopped out over here. So the first one is a loss and I would enter over there. So this one, as I said, was a loss. This one was, okay, let me break and retest of last highs. Just wanted to give you a visual for you guys. 
and uh, now what we are taking is the break and retest of the last lows let's see now if it's going to work or not we are having a retest and that's good i mean we don't touch the trade so we don't really care what the price might do we have the stop loss we have the tp it went like 20 30 pips and yes we get stopped out so this is a second loss perfect Okay, so now we have this, uh, this could have been a possible buy, but I want to see breakout of these last highs and I want to see some price action now. Yeah, you can see this is the high that I would want to see it breaking. Because now we are getting into this, the end of the session, so we have to be um, cautious about it. Okay, this could be a possible break and retest on the downside and yeah one two yeah it looks it should be a winning trade yes this is a winning trade so as you can see even though it was quite late price uh, gave us this opportunity and that's due to the fact that we don't really need to know what is going to happen or why it should happen with this uh, setup uh, in order to to make money so yeah, that's the end of the session. And let's continue. So with the blackboard over here. Let's continue on the end of the month, 31st of January. We can see that already the price is very trending right before New York open. So we have this spike up, we have these eyes. And we have these lows so far, of course. Uh, yeah, let's see. Now we are waiting. Yeah, 820. We have now these lows as a reference. We can, and that can be these lows. We have also these eyes for some high risk high reward buys. For example, over here, right uh, after 820 a.m. Eastern, break and retest of these last eyes. And that's a winning trade immediately. I don't know if there was a news, as I told you, I'm doing now uh, this one without um, without looking at the news whatsoever, simply looking at the price action. Now, we might see the retest of this area, uh, can be anything about this, or even, yeah, this last, the last eyes are these ones, so we might see even a, a little uh, lower week to... Uh, to tap it but let's see or either a continuation above these eyes so as you can see we have this price action we don't have the actual retest and no closing at this level uh, let's see now if we can break above i'm not really confident in taking sales but if we see more more order accumulation um i would definitely uh, look into it okay yeah, this look like a liquidity grab, not really giving any chance for sales. Uh, yes, I will not take it just due to just because of that. Uh, this candle might have been a possible entry, but I'm not, as I said, I was not really confident. As you can see, the price also tapped into these lows, uh, into these previous eyes, as I said. I will not take this entry because uh, for, for me now it's not a break and retest, it's more end of a pullback and I'm not taking that and I'm not taking that so uh, I, will probably, I will wait for this price action to play out let's see if we get a retest of these highs yeah, yeah, we have this retest of these last highs with a possible entry which goes into a winning trade. So as you can see, our original uh, trade idea, which was this one, played out really, really good, but the price will give us an opportunity to enter at this last uh, price point of interest. So now what I want to see is, um, 
this one okay we have this psa over here for the last highs to be broken um yeah we might uh, take this i think it's a loss but it's still a breakout yeah it's a loss and um it's still a break every test of these eyes nothing is uh, uh telling me that it's not con going to continue as we took these ones nothing was telling me that it was going to continue but uh that's the part that's part of the setup now we have this area that might be a possible high risk high reward sell area if we create this order block and we break and we test on the downside yeah but it's actually not happening we actually retesting these candle bodies so that's we where we can take further buys and let's see no, this one is a loss because this this price has not really um it does not go to 30, 45 pips i would yeah the possible mistake is the timing because you can see that the entry was right before new york stock exchange opening so that that's quite a stupid entry because you can be patient especially after two wins and only one loss you can be patient and wait for the volume to come in but let's see uh the perception of course now i don't have the last i don't have these eyes so far i only have these lows so i don't have any buy, um, trade idea for the for the bullish side yet because i don't have the the price point of interest but yeah i think we're going to see it uh in the next in, in the next screenshot so far it's two wins two losses 50 percent flat one, one one could have been avoided pretty pretty easily uh due to the timing but that's not the point so uh that's the second part as you can see yeah uh, so we are breaking and retesting these eyes after new york stock exchange is opening and this could be our entry and one two three four that's a win as simple as that Ah oh, no, this one is we already took it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um that's why it was so easy. Okay. I thought that was after New York Stock Exchange is opening. So yes, okay. So now we have these eyes. We have these lows. Okay, so we have this breakout. We have this retest that we can take. Uh, this is the la the old highs. I will take this retest of the last highs. So you can see it's also reacting perfectly. And let's see now it's 20 pips. Let's see if we have a push. 30 pips, 35 I would say. Uh, I mean 40 pips I would say. Let's see if we have a push. No, very unlucky. This is a very unlucky loss uh due to the fact that it's it's going like um only 40 pips i will now we will check it but yeah uh what we can see is now possible cells below these lows okay we have this psa now these lows Let's see if we want to take this risk. Okay, that's a loss. So quite a rough second part of the day, I would say. And uh, let's see uh, yeah, if the price can give us any other opportunity before the end of the session, not really. The only thing we could have taken is um, this entry over here. We, we don't know if it's going to go to profits. Yeah, it's going to be ranging. So that's not an entry. So quite a little bit of a sketchy because we went to 2 and now we had two losses. Um, but that's okay. Let's continue into the uh, first day of the month. Into the 1st of February. So uh, coming into New York Open already. Uh, we have... We have a little bit of a slow start of New York session. 
that's why I don't take this first spike up and down uh, after the 10 a.m. If we have consistent now a proof that the price is breaking and retesting above this area, I might take advice. Otherwise, I will wait for some trend. Yeah, as you can see, now possible super high risk high reward uh, trend conf um, trade entry will be at this kind uh, any kind of closing over here. For example, this first one. This is the very risk a uh, risk reward because the price is still ranging. We are not breaking below any uh, of the previous lows, but yeah, that's why uh, it's called high risk high reward. This is not TP, and uh, let's see if it push back down again. That's uh, what I would love to. Yeah, no. Nope. So uh, we actually break and retest these eyes. So this one is actually a loss and I just remember that I had to check the last one, the previous one, I had to check the, um, okay. So this one is 27.5. This one is 23.5. So yeah, for like, uh, five pips, I, this one was a loss and that's okay. And yes, so let's continue with this one. Uh, so this one is a loss, as I said, uh, let's see if we can continue uh, pushing up or we break below now, we break below these lows. I don't really want to take this super high risk high reward sells, if that's the case, because we are trending sort of bullish and we are in this range. So I don't have the confirmation that if it breaks below these lows, the price will trend at least 45 pips. Uh, it would be mostly on hope. So, but let's see what is the price action telling me. Uh, okay, yeah. Now price is staying below. That's that could be the the trade idea. Staying below these lows. Very messy. Not really trending. So that would be a high risk high reward. Uh, but we could take the confirmation at the when the price is confirming to be trending. For example, retesting these lows. Yeah, as you can see, it's also right before the news, so it was quite high risk high reward entry, but still an entry over there would be, as you can see, uh, a profitable one. And that was the trade idea. As you can see, then we have this retest after we got we get stopped out, uh, we get the TP, so we get out of the trade, we get this possible entry again. This is very likely that it's um, a news, and it's coming at the 10 a.m. candle, some PMI. And yeah, we might, uh, this one is only going like 30 pips. So that's a loss. And that's okay. And now what I want to see is actually, let's see. So we have these lows, we have these possible highs. I want to see price trending. This might be a possible entry. Okay, one, two, three, four, that's a win. Okay. And now, yeah, it's uh, too late to uh, take any entry. Let's continue, let's move on. So this one was the previous one. Let's drag the, the blackboard back in. Okay, so the second of February, as we can see, already from the south of New York, we can see that we have this clear PSA, these lows being created and uh, sort of respected. So I would want to see with the volume time, the break and retest of these lows. Nice. So, okay, now this is a breakout and any retest of these lows would for me make uh, an entry, as you can see over here. In this case, that's a loss. Um, let's see when is the actually 8.20. So yeah, that's, that's was the open. So I will not take the open. I will wait for this, uh, now new break, uh, new trade, new PSA to be broken. And that's mainly because as I always say, I enter after I see a trend at 8.20 AM Eastern. So if we break below, and we retest it, 
that's when I will take a possible entry. This for me is the best entry point. Staying below, this is more staying below, retesting it. And but yeah, as you can see, price will also give you this chance. So that's very good. Let's see if it's going to be a win. One, two. Okay, so yeah, definitely look at also this PSA. Look also as, at this uh, retest. If you missed it, that was absolutely the entry. Uh, so it's a winning trade. We might take advantage of the continuation trade if we retest these previous lows, as you can see. Possible. Let's see if it's going to win. Yes. One, two, three and a half. That's a win. That's very good. Now we can also always see these previous lows. In this case, uh, if we want to take this retest, that would be a loss. And now let's see uh, this low volume. Let's see now what is the perception telling us. Okay, coming into New York Stock Exchange opening, uh, it opens and it breaks and retests these lows. This is a possible high risk high reward entry. Uh, we are not breaking below these lows, but this retest is quite nice, I would say, uh, because it's retesting in this previous PSA. We could wait and take a less risk uh, entry because now we, that's a, the cost opportunity of entering very early so we can have prob my high probability higher risk to reward but we are still possibly in this range so i will say that i wait in this in this occasion but with the volume time it's possible that price will continue down also it's possible that new york stock exchange is grabbing liquidity and then pushing back up so as you can see price went down yes as you can see one two three but gives it gives us also this opportunity to enter and that's where the safest entry one two three four yeah as you can see that's a win uh due to the fact that i will not win more just by entering over there because i will win 45 pips anyway there was no point in taking this risk even though i understood the perception and yes now we're coming into a 10 a.m candle and yeah, probably going into a next uh into the next uh, screenshot so let's continue with the second part of it okay so price is uh, absolutely trending going down 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 i don't know where we took the trade anyway you can see that any break and retest went uh was profitable so um i don't remember what time we entered uh so it was at the key level so this level so was here so this is our tp right one two three four yeah right below that so what we could take is this one as you can see break and retest of these uh lows price is clearly trending there is no real need so one two three and a half this is a tp it same idea over here one two three and a half that's a tp it let's see if it continues yeah that's uh, absolutely um, winning trades over winning trades doesn't give us any other end over here price is simply mm, going down 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 same thing we enter over here and let's see if it's going to bounce from there yeah because probably there are some uh, profit taking no actually yeah we actually get uh, stopped out because yeah one yeah this is a uh, stop out and then we can see the break and retest of these last lows. So analyzing the candle, candle by candle, we break below and we retest these lows. So that's another possible entry. If our trade idea was all right, but simply the timing was off, that's the trade idea. And now I want also want to see the retest of these lows is going to continue down so i will say that i will take a loss over there because as as much as i take the wins i need to take the losses 
and now we might have the uh, sort of a reversal we're coming after the 10 a.m candle and let's see we have this retest this is a possible high risk high reward entry on the upside okay this will still be okay Okay, and that would be a loss. You can see three, three just in the second part. And yeah, now it is getting, it's too late because it's after London close, but you can see that we have the break and retest of this la of these lows. Over here with this retest would have been another win pretty, pretty easily, but it was after my time uh, of trading. So now let's continue. I don't know if it's the last day of the week, uh, the 3rd of uh, February, so I don't, know, I don't even know if that's NFP day, because it's the start of the month, and yeah, New York open, let's see, yeah, this is NFP, huge, uh, huge candles, without even, we, we don't know about the data, uh, we don't know about what is the actual, um, the actual numbers are as you can see we have a breaking retest of these lows that's where we can take our entry one two three four yeah that's a possible win very good and yeah this is a win might take this entry as well retesting these lows And that's another win. Okay. Second part, yeah, that was my entry. Okay, lots of volume. Now, if we break, retest these lows, possible for the entry. That's a winning trade. Oh, well, that's a nice way to end of the week. Let's see if we cannot make <laughs> too much damage now. Okay. okay, now I will use these lows like this possible retest yeah. actually this one is better and as you can see it will move on um yeah <coughs> and this should be okay but even if that is a loss because the entry was low that's okay we have this re-entry below these lows okay the possible correction yeah as i was saying we are seeing a possible correction on the upside one two three four price is breaking and retesting these eyes so possible entry would be even over here at this candle close and one two three one two three and a half yeah that's already a win okay 
So if we break above these highs again, or if we break below these lows, like here, there you go. Coming into a 10 a.m. candle, that's where the volume was coming from. Strong push. Uh, we have this with us of these lows, which could be a possible entry already. Or oh, waiting for below these lows. Yeah, as you can see, below these lows will be this entry for a win. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the day. I mean, already too many trades, I would say. And doing live trade, I don't think yeah, that's um, that's um, doable. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I see you next time.